Hey guys, and welcome <laughs> to episode 148 of the Up Real Aid podcast. My name is Scott Ellis, I'm joined here by Tim McGavick. It's not going to translate well at all. No. It's a lot of bars. No, that's crazy. It's so loud. What the fuck? You ruined everything. Thanks, Also Dad. joining us is Adam Franey. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. I'm joined by this idiot and two friends. Is that? Who is that? Is that? Uh, just the person who interrupts. Mm. Mm. Let's run down oh, some we're of the topics we're going to discuss okay. uh, in this <laughs> week's episode. As usual, we're going to talk about the last film we watched this week, as well as a couple news topics. We got Dumbo teaser. We got The Nun Dumbo. from the Conjuring universe, Animal. Mm-hmm. And we also got The Grinch, starring Benedict Cumberbatch mm-hmm. from Illumination Entertainment, a.k.a. Ooh. the Minions people. Can you do that mm-hmm. voice where they do the Illumination thing? No. Oh. I want to hear like a Tim's no. bit. Can, can, you, do can you do that? No, I can't. No. no. But I want to hear Tim do it. Though. As well, if you do like this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. That out of the way, Tim. Mm-hmm. Put that coffee down. Sorry. Put the coffee down. Put the coffee down. Put the what do you got for us this week? Down. I won't. The coffee I'll down. be brief because this was last seen by someone a couple weeks ago. Huh. I don't like this. Uh, two cavalier and good-hearted thieves find 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 themselves on a mission to rescue a duchess from marrying a dangerous count, who is only interested in recovering her family's lost treasure. Mm. Since so 1979's. Definitely Lupin the Third, yeah, Castle of Cagliostro. Good job, not fucking. Me Scott up. also watched it this week. I can tell by his face. No, no, I forgot. Written by. <laughs> I really wanted to, and I forgot. Hayao Miyazaki and Hirui Yamazaki. In honor of our like Pixar review this week, you went with the real Goat Animation Studio. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, based on the graphic Very novel series by Monkey Punch. And directed by Hayao Miyazaki. Monkey Punch? Monkey Punch. Is the word Monkey Punch? I guess it's like a pseudonym. Can you even even say that on the air? That's... It sounds gross. (laughs) Um, So this is Hayao's first directed film. Debut. Debut. Wow. Um, I loved it. What did you think? Just to make this about me. (laughs) It's a two. Subpar. No. I'm kidding. Oh, I believed you. You little Um, bitch. I loved it. Two out of two. It's very fun. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. gorgeous illustration. Well, you would think a 1979 like first movie the guy's doing is gonna be like a little bit rough. Thank you. Kind of dated. Literally That's flawless. Really it looks thought. great. Guy just slaved over the yeah, drawings for like a long time. His An life, insane perhaps. amount of like detail and like. <laughs> Did you describe this as like a heist movie or something? Or yeah, it's a heist movie. So they're breaking yeah. into this castle to like. Um, rescue this princess. Oh, this movie yeah. is um, based on a series, so Lupin the Third pops up in a TV show before this and a few movies after this. This is the only one that what? Miyazaki did. It's not like an original oh. work by him. It's like a, he Don't adapted an a ongoing story. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just really fun. I love the character, Lupin the Third. I might try to find more stuff of him because yeah. that character is just so awesome. Scoundrel. Um, yeah, he's a scoundrel. He's like a Han Solo type of guy, kind of like... Um, woman he's not a good guy, but he's not, not a good guy. A guy. He's not a bad he's guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's a rogue. He's a rogue. He's a rob scallion. <laughs> oh, uh, wow! Uh, I'm still late for that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what else I can more add to what you said a couple weeks ago, but yeah, this the illustration alone is just great. Like it's yeah, gorgeously colored, so much detail. Like that opening car chase is so good. <laughs> oh, like the scene where like the they leaves? have to smash out the front window because it gets like a bullet hole. And you actually see like glass like oh. shattered to pieces. It looks. Amazing. Crazy. Craziness. Would Insane. you say it's one of his most action-packed? Oh, it's non-stop action. Right? Yeah. I was like, I was, I don't know, I didn't expect much. I thought no. first movie, no one lists it in his, like, filmography, really. Yeah. It's like a... Because it's not really an original story by him. Like, he wrote it with another guy, and it's mm-hmm. based on true. a series of characters. So it's not really, like, true. a Miyazaki original, but... Um, so action-y, though. Yeah, it's tons of action. It's insane. Like, literally almost non-stop action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Car chases, breaking into places, like fights zombies. with ninjas and stuff. Okay, why did you guys not oh, sell shit. me this earlier? Assassin did. ninjas. Didn't you love, like, the aesthetic of, like, thieves with machine guns fighting ninjas yeah. and stuff? It was so Freezes, weird. Yeah. And, like, merging of the world. Yeah, it's kind of like Castle in the Sky, I guess. There's, like, pirates, but, like, yeah. in the air. Yeah. Yes. Air pirates. <laughs> That's correct. So it's, like, <laughs> the aesthetic. Sky Very pirate. aesthetic. So the setting is, like, they don't say, but it's, like, 1950s Italy. Because uh, he was like obsessed with that 
area at this yeah. time. So it's like looks like old castles and really tight, Poco tight Rosso's streets. Like that too. It's mm-hmm. like yeah, very Italian based. Um, yeah, loved it. What would you rate it? I'm gonna give it a heavy four, I think. <gasps> Yeah, not a class. A few spicy. like yeah. a few oh. very like <laughs> a few like kind of like classic Jesus. anime cheesy tropes. Like right. the scene where he's like trying to swim up a waterfall for like thirty seconds, <laughs> and he just like yeah. and like looks very like not like uh, his other stuff isn't like real isn't realistic, but it's like <laughs> not so like goofy. That's so it's anime. a little goofy at times. I think it could have been if you took some of that stuff out. It literally is like yeah. just like this. Um, yeah. The good cube drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. But, but besides those good moments, I'm, I'm going to awesome. try and watch it this week. Ty, what, what do you got for us? Well, I kind of want to watch that now. But uh, no. You got an hour and a half. I got something else. Oh, yeah. This is a movie I wanted to see last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I didn't get to is it. it in you, the you checked right in? Now? I did. You checked your bags at the door? I did. Yeah. At one hotel. Yeah. One Hotel Artemis. Ooh. Oh. Some might say a classic Sweetie Five, based on the trailer. See, I asked Ty earlier this week, hey man, you want to see Hotel Artemis uh, tonight? Like, nah. Well, actually, technically I didn't respond for 24 hours. Uh, yeah, you didn't respond to the first one. The next day I was like, hey, uh, uh, it's the next day, it's a new day. Do you want to go to Hotel Artemis tonight? He's like, you said no. I may, I, or, said, I may or may not have already seen it. Winky face. Uh. Eggplant emoji talking. He is I not, wanted to see it. Honestly, it seemed fun. What did you think? Well, let me, let, me, let me dive in. Dive in. I saw an uh, RT score, so. Set in a riot-torn near future Los Angeles, Hotel mm. Artemis follows the nurse who runs a secret members-only emergency room for criminals. Mm. I like that. Quite wow. a quirky. large cast. Very quirky. Physically the, large? The, oh, no, well, Dave no, Bautista's just... in it, so he's kind of big. Uh, Sophia bets. Butella, Jodie Foster, Sterling K. Brown. Mm, my boy. Yeah, yeah big fan. Uh, Jeff Goldblum. Did you say Sophia Butella? I did say Sophia yeah. Butella. That's your girl. That's my girl. Jeff GB. Uh, also, Jenny Slate is in it, which mm. I forgot about until this moment. She voices the lamb in Zootopia. She also oh. has a thing on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. She does. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Brian Tyree Henry. I don't know him, but he was kind of cool. Paper boy? Paper boy, sure. Zachary Quinto, mm. Charlie Day, mm. Kenneth Choi. So many people. Yeah. Uh, you know Kenneth Choi. Oh. Guy from Thor. Yeah. No? It is him, right? It no. is him. Oh, you were almost racist. Not from Choi. Did I say Troy? Thor. Thor. Not from, <laughs> it's not from Thor? I said not from Choi. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, is, it, is he or is he not the guy from Thor? Kenneth of Choi? No, because he looks Hogan? identical. Hogan. He the looks only like... Japanese g- character from Thor. He was in Captain America. Well, oh, he's in Captain Spider-Man. America, that's why. Yes, he plays a principal in... Oh, oh, that's right, yeah. Okay. Okay, what do you think of Hotel Back Artemis? Back on the Hotel Artemis now. Get, but you're through the cast now. Let's, yeah. let's get, cut to the chase here. Um, this was very good. Sweaty for fun. a sweaty movie. Mm. There were some holes... Oh, massive holes, I'm sure. First of all, there was no one plot. There was probably about seven or eight side stories holding this movie together. Sorry. So it's like Pulp Fiction. I'm going to cry. Yes, but... I'm so proud of you. The movie's not... Pulp Fiction of action movies. It's kind of, yes, but at the same time... Smoking Aces, you might say. Yeah. One might say. That's much better. Yeah. uh, Yeah, that's actually more accurate. But, yeah, you could say it was like Pulp Fiction, but at the same time, it was just like the stories weren't as strong. So like Mm. Smoking Aces, then. They hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Like a smoke and aces mixed with smoke and aces. Yeah, mixed with smoke and aces mixed with too. shit. Ooh, that's shit. <laughs> and, ooh. ooh. Anyways. Mixed with like, it seemed like there's a lot of neon colors. There, there were a lot of colors. Those enticed me. And colors were fantastic. It was colorful? I, oh, very colorful. Yeah. Lots of neon. Dark. Lots of neon. Oh, there was dark, dark. But then there was like colors. Darkness, but also there was oh. light. Um, Jodie Foster, I really liked actually. Uh, really? Yeah, she. I, I thought she was gonna be a little cringe, yeah. uh, just from like the trailer. But yeah. but actually, she was not bad. Not. I'm not gonna okay, say. Jody. Yeah, I'm not gonna say great, but she was not bad. Dave Bautista, I thought he was very funny. He was like a playing like, a role, man. He's playing like the gentle giant, but at the same time, if you mess with him, he'll fuck you up. Um, what was the line he had? That's basically who he is. See this? I'm a healthcare provider. It means I'm a healthcare professional. Yeah, there's one, the one the other. There's one other line. 
Visiting time, uh, visiting hours. Are yeah. Over. Yeah. yeah, no, visiting hours are never. <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah. Like punching like someone that. as he said. Yeah, that. very Schwarzenegger. Um, Jeff That's... Goldblum, minimal character in this. The trailer made it seem like he was going to be like this big, like antagonist. Nah, minimal. Nah, he's being... into that minimal. Yeah, if anything, his <laughs> minimal. Zachary Quinto plays his son. Um, yeah, right. It's pretty good. A very like good. his his role was almost he was almost had more screen time than than Goldblum. Goldblum gets killed instantly, is what you're saying? No, no I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. He's just like he he doesn't show up he until like a little later. Face. Spoiler alert. Um, it, it, he, it, to me, yeah, this was that was the problem with this. It was just there was so many little things just like in one movie, and it was just there was no like one one plot. To, not enough of a through thread. Yeah. No payoff. Yeah, I like through that. line. Through line. Line. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. a through thread. A through thread <laughs> sounds better. It's really a, it's a tough. It's a, it rolls off the tongue. Off the tongue. <laughs> Guys, a through thread. Guys, <laughs> tooth thread. not enough of a tooth thread, huh? Okay. Hey, was it a tooth thread? There wasn't enough string holding this together. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Um, yeah. Other than that, performances were good. Oh, so oh, so you tell her. Oh, she has this who's one that? scene where she's like, she just. I mean, who's that? Who's that? The mummy. Mummy. Kingsman. Sword Legs. Sword mm, Legs. Yeah. Yes. Brunette from Atomic Blonde. Okay. French lady. Mm. Anyways, she has this one scene where she's like taking on like probably like seven or eight hitmen and it's just like whole. Oh. Is it like John Wick it's light? Like <laughs> Very light. Oh. Without one central character. Yeah. Charlie Day. Oh. Pretty Was cringe. He cringe? Very cringe. He tried oh, to play like wow, this his like career's going down the fucking drain right now. He tried to play like this like Powerball kind of arms dealer, and he can't play that character. Like I, Stanky. like <laughs> they wanted you to think it, but then like they also want like they also wanted like his undertone, like like his overall like character to kind of undertone it, and then like but you'd be like okay, well maybe he's still kind of powerful because that. No, nothing like none of it took. He was just the entire time, like laughable. Was he frazzled? I he was very frazzled. He's the only man I've ever seen more frazzled than you. Yes. Yeah. And that is a feat. That's quite the feat. Yes. He, he plays that well. Yeah. Just not when he, he's trying to play... But see, he did that, but he tried to do something else at the same time, which was just like, nope. you can't do... When he just tries to play a character else. that's supposed to be badass or, like, strong... He tries to just, act? Yeah. Like, have it just doesn't range. work. Yeah, I don't believe it. Yeah. And that, that was the problem, is yeah. it wasn't believable. Yeah. Oh, like Charlie. anyone else, this might have worked, but just because like you see him in all these other like all these, like you have this, he's been almost typecast in a sense. Yeah, where, oh, like, for sure. Every time you see him, it's just like, okay, this is Charlie. Day. And now it's kind of like they're playing off that and doing the opposite. Yeah, like, like, and he's it's not scrawny, working. like pipsqueak, yeah, annoying guy. But he's an arms dealer though. But now he's like the villain. Uh, yeah, man. yeah, no, it doesn't work. How was Sterling K. Brown? Because this is his first... I haven't really seen him in any I liked movies. him in this. Very intense. Um, Ooh, very similar intense to his role in uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Brooklyn Nine -Nine, which is a favorite of Tim and mine. I know he was in that. Uh, he is in an episode. One episode. Plays, oh, this is a, he plays a dentist. Yeah. And it is quite intense. Yeah. The most intense dentist Sounds I've ever seen. very intense. So he was intense. He was very intense. Um, but yeah, he just he acts a lot with his eyes, and actually I, I noticed that like throughout the uh, throughout the movie, it was always like a lot of close ups of his face, which that's a good thing. With anyone else, I think it would have sucked, but he just did very well. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was an okay movie for most people. Pretty good for me. There you go. Well, so what would you rate it? If I had to rate this, I'd probably give it a light four. Cool. Holy fuck. Yeah. Wow. Shit. All right, Adam, what do you got for us this week? Well, top that. Uh, I'll try. This he had a character arc. Hmm. That didn't make sense, that sentence, but we'll give it a day. It went around. Well, yeah. uh, I got a little 1957 flick. Wow. It's extremely old for those You must have watched know. something from Master. Oh, yes. It uh, was on... Let me guess. Uh, criteria? Pass of... Corey? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Stanley Kubrick. I knew it! Some have called the goat. Paths of glory. I knew uh, it! How'd you know? You just said 1957. Holy oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> what else could it have got been? got a fucking psycho on her hands here. Uh, after refusing to attack an enemy position, a general accuses the soldiers of cowardice, and their commanding officer must defend them. Starring Kirk Douglas. Oh. Looking like a stud. 
Hmm? Hey, stud yo, muffin. Stud. I had no idea. He was so stud. Pure gangster back in the day. Not familiar with anyone else, so I won't uh, waste our time. Am I right? Written and directed by Stanley Kubrick. Again, arguably the go. This uh, is what his second, third, probably his fourth. Or very early. He's done very, a couple. He did. He did probably two, three. He did like the killing. He did the killing before this, and then maybe he did two or three movies before that. Small, which but were like very not acclaimed at all. Yeah, this, this was, was his just, breakout. Exactly. The killing was was good, and then this was his breakout. I've heard. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I'm trying to knock off all the Kubrick movies I haven't seen. There's not just like only a couple now. Uh, it's very very good. I liked it a lot. Shout out to Phil for uh, lending it to me. Mm -hmm. ah. He said this was the condition. If I watch it, I have to last seen it. Filthy Phil. Filthy wow. Philly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's, that's a lot to ask, bro. Uh, that's well, a lot to ask, man. Philopian like, Twigs himself. Let's pay so Olaf. He paid me off. Um, no, yeah, it was great. Um, the budget was apparently extremely low. Doesn't show. War scenes looked very good. Insane. You've seen it? Yeah. Oh. Have I have it on Criterion. Have you seen it? No. I don't know why. Thank you for including me, though. Yes. He actually literally said I can lend it to one of you, not you. <laughs> something no plebs or something. I don't know, something wow. Like okay, king pleb, but okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, you bored Suspiria last week. And I'll oh, get it back to you, man. Don't no worry. Just hoarding like, Criterion. I already put it into my DVD collection. And you're, like, you're not going to back oh, Tim, I'm pretty sure you still have my Pacific Rim coffee. It's still... Okay. Coffee? It's coffee? It's still... It's still There's wrapped. It's still wrapped? It's still wrapped. Okay. Oh, my God. <sighs> anyway... Uh, yeah, Kirk Douglas was amazing, I thought. Ooh, I was very good. I was honestly expected to see an Oscar nom when I looked it up on wow. IMDb, but no one saw it when it came out. It made no money. I don't know if you guys know, $300,000. Uh, That's real bad. It's a late, blo a late bloomer. A, a bit, some yeah. Some might say. It took 60 years, but it's here. <laughs> Do you know how much it cost to make the movie? Did they actually say? Around $1 million. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Keep in mind, it's in the 50s. So Not good, Kirk. <clears throat> it's a big budget. He apparently, upon reading the script, said, this movie won't make a dollar, and we have to make it. And that's what he said to Kubrick, apparently. Like, that was his reaction to the script. Um, it's because it's not like a triumphant, like, da -da movie, new, you know? It's a war new. movie, so it's it's hard to sell a movie that's... A war movie, movie, but it's not like it's patriotic. War movie, right? Oh, so at that time, like yeah. in the fifties, yeah, right so, after World War Two. Yeah. yeah, it's like a war drama. I wouldn't call it an action movie. Mm -hmm. There is a amazing set piece or two with like the tracking, like a lot of long, sh long takes, tracking shot going through the trenches, just like following different people like Kirk Douglas, and that's amazing. Kind of Dunkirk esque, bombs going off, live extras everywhere. Um, yeah, insane like amount of people on screen. The movie transitions fairly quickly. Not, I don't know if it, it's been a, a year. It's short. Since it's only it. an hour and a half. Oh wow! Again, reminded me of Dunkirk. But it transitions fairly quickly into like a legal drama, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Yeah, mm. it flips it on its head. Yeah, you're in this like war, intense like making high risk calls on the battlefield. Snap into. A call gets made, and then there's the aftermath. It's like second half is like a courtroom thriller, mm -hmm. which Where, like, I dealing, love. Dealing with the circumstances of at the beginning of it. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Almost like Eye in the Sky. Things happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting comparison. Like that. Uh, <laughs> but like Adam was saying, it's like they were ordered to to attack, but they're like it's suicidal. So we're not going to. So. And they disobeyed an order. And mm, what to disobey an order is bad news. Bad news. Um, Something very interesting. I was astonished to learn the German female singer in this, Stanley Kubrick, married and remained married to until 1999 when right. he died. Crazy, right? Fucked. I remember reading that. Literally in the fucked. Trivia. Yeah. She has one scene in the movie and he left his wife at the time for her. And yeah, just stayed with she her for 40 years. Very wow. beautiful. Oh. She was stunning. It's a regular Brad Pitt, eh? Yes, yeah. yes, he was an innovator though. Yeah. He did it before. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I liked it a lot. That ending though. That ending though, <laughs> I just, yeah, well, it's weird to say I don't want to spoil it for this <laughs> 60 year old movie, but I don't want to spoil it, but very ballsy, very, uh, a lot of messaging that's like, I'm sure in the 50s, even now, but in the 50s would be insane. Just like war is bad, basically. Yeah. 
you know, and an outsider from the UK like um, Kubrick commenting on America like in World War One and all of that. Again, I don't want to ruin it because I know you're going to watch it, right? But yeah, just ballsy, ambitious war movies. <laughs> I know you, Tim, are going to watch it. Uh, the only two people yeah. here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I liked it a lot. I'd probably go... Mm, 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 mm. Four. Four out of five, I think. I'm trying to think of what I didn't like. This is always... A th I'm like, hmm. If it's hard to think of what I didn't like, why is it not... Because if you knew it was five. a five, it'd be a five. <laughs> it's a, if it's a five, it's a five. If you can't talk five, yourself into a five. five. I know Phil five thing did. What, what, what is your take? Five or Probably like four? Yeah, just really solid. This I think I'm, I'm spoiled. It's a 60-year-old movie. I've, <laughs> you know, I've seen the Dunkirks and the same Trevor Ryans and stuff that could use this movie and kind of leapfrog it, right? That's fair. But my God, for a 60-year-old movie. And on Blu-ray... On my 4K TV, it looks great. Lots of colors. It's in black and white. Ooh, <laughs> so, so no. zero colors. <laughs> Virtually none. The colors are monochromatic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just some hues. If you like shots, oh, the hues. It. Contrast is great. Lots of hues. I mean, it, it did look beautiful. It did. It was very gray, but it was beautiful. Cool. Well, Scotty, what do you got for us? Check it out sometime. World. Now this week, I did sort of a double feature. <laughs> It's my porg sound. Sorry. You guys already know the other movie I watched. Yeah. I posted it in the chat. Oh, shit. Uh, Train to Busan. Mm. Yes. Ooh. I won't Thoughts? talk about that. I won't talk about that. Perfect. Uh, Give us a rating quick. We've talked about it three other times. I yeah, you, you guys have all of last week. What, what, what uh, you liked it? It's like a four to five. Yeah. It's okay. great. A fun little uh, fun romp. zombie romp. Yeah. It's the... real possible. Yeah. It's. Yeah. We can talk about it later. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, the other movie I watched. Mm. Back to back, I saw the devil. Oh, oh shit. shit! I don't know what that this is. Fucked. It's fucked. I last seen it a few weeks ago. Directed by Kim Ji Woon, starring Lee Byung Hun no. <laughs> and Choi Min Sik. Um, it's the story of see the IMDb uh, synopsis was like a secret agent. I don't know if he, is he a secret agent. That's a bit. That that's not a secret like, agent. No. I think he's a this detective. This guy's getting hype. Let's just talk him right now. I mean, he's like a he's detective. Not a secret agent. He's like a detective. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's on. interesting, but I'm still listening. Did they say secret agent? It literally says secret agent goes on revenge. I'm, uh, I'm like, oh, he's not like no. using gadgets and like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like he doesn't. There are no gadgets. Has like a thing, and he's like <laughs> not a single. Guy. I think he's like a secret service guy, maybe. But yeah, at the most. Anyway, no gadgets. Um. His wife is untimely murdered by a serial killer, and he goes on this revenge trip, a um, little old boy esque, oh, you know, some might say. Um, yeah. After the serial killer, and <laughs> it is a, sort of a series of catch and release <laughs> where he kind of gets off on it a little bit. Um, oh, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. I really liked it. Yeah. I really liked it. It's <laughs> fucked. It's pretty fucked. Like, Did you, fucked. you just had seen it when you last seen it recently? Yes. Is that right? Yes. That's how, our, that's, that's how our last scenes work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I saw it a long time ago. I remember, yeah, I've been wanting you guys to watch this for so long. Yeah, I saw this like a month ago, maybe. Oh, it just well, clicked. I, I just sat down and I'm like, friends. I need to, what, do I, what do I want to watch? I was like, oh, shit. Like, that's what I did, too. I was like, I'm in the mood for some like, lengthy... Like a lengthy creed. But something so. good. I'm like, I've already seen The Wailing. I'm like, I saw a devil. Right. And actually, I saw I saw the devil first. And I was like, shit, you know what else I haven't seen? Train to Busan. Ah, you so I was just on that Korean trip. You know. I mean, okay. best foreign filmmakers? Koreans? Probably. Dare I say? Anyways. Uh, I love it. Uh, Maybe French. Yeah. There's a lot of great foreign filmmakers. Um, I US. mean... Choi Min Sik is amazing in this. He yeah. plays the serial killer. I mean, oh, so, so he's just fucked. He's so fucked. But hilarious at the same time. Like, there's this weird comedy. Yeah, I laughed like, a few times. Weird, I not be weird. That's a Korean thing. Like, sorry, a what? weird, yeah. offbeat comedy. Like, the do. most fucked up things are happening on like screen. Like, the wailing, I feel like, like. Why is this funny? But it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's weird. That's like, fucked up. He literally just raped someone, but it's hilarious. Whew. What? <laughs> Yeah, like, no, it is. But it's, it's you gotta see the movie. It's yeah. it's just the way it happens. 
And just hit, just his. It's a book. You wouldn't. Uh, is it dubbed? No. <sighs> just Troy Man's sick. It's just sick. Sick. In the head. Um, Troy Man. I mean. Sick. Lee Byung Han. I feel like I've seen him before. I don't. I don't know what he's in. But I can't figure that out too. I don't know. Um, I think he's a pretty big star in Korea, but um, he was good as well. Interesting arc for his character. Yeah. Because he goes mm-hmm. from just sort of taking revenge to, he sort of almost becomes a like, it's like he's like Dexter or something like. I don't know, it's like, he's not the good guy anymore. Yeah, it's hard to root for him towards yeah, the end. Yeah, because he, he sort of, he doesn't <sighs> have as many, many redeeming, uh, you know, qualities. But um, I really liked, you know, it got kind of really weird when Troyman Sick meets his, like, friend. That's just why I, just, I didn't give it a, I think I had before this. It was almost, it was almost a five, but I, I don't like that subplot. Yeah, it didn't it think it weird? added a lot to the story. No, it, it was, wasn't needed. It was, the, it was like a twenty-minute cannibal. Yeah, yeah. his cannibal oh, alert. Okay, yeah, that fucked me up. Yeah, it's still so, very weird. Like, <laughs> there's that. But it, it could have been a say. bit um, condensed, let's say, yeah. um, and focus more on their back and forth. Yeah. Mm. But I mean, you know, if it didn't have that, then it might have been a little bit thinner. Like as far as. You know, it's it's nice when you have these. It's it's pretty long movie, like over two hours. Yeah, it's oh, like yeah? Cool. Um, two hour twenty minutes. I think. Two fifty. Lengthy. Oh, um, I don't know. Just when you have all these different things going on, it sort of adds to the movie as well. It's yeah. sort of hard to quantify. Flushes it out a bit. Yeah, like you don't want it to be like this really basic action revenge no, movie. Yeah. Like it's nice that there's some interesting twists and turns to it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Take so like it was a bit of a weird uh, turn. Um part way through the movie but then at the same time it did add sort of to this weird universe of like serial mm-hmm. killers yeah. like fucked like he literally opens a fridge and there's just like ten people in there yeah. bodies cut up I'm like what the fuck are these people up to I remember it this is bizarre um but yeah I mean it gets pretty twisted near the end and there's some interesting twists and turns especially the very end very end's fucked I don't remember uh the family like opens the door is there like a sing? yeah 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 <laughs> yes yeah right and like the head rolls up to the door and they're like ah! yeah 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 it was it was a little no this whole movie fucked me up. <laughs> it's fine yeah. now that I'm remembering yeah. thanks for remembering yeah the PTSD is coming that door. back PTSD no. is back sleep goodbye <laughs> yeah hereditary did that already I don't know there's just there's not a ton of of excellent excellent Korean movies but there's a couple really good ones well there's like three very recently I feel like yeah there's been a bit of a renaissance lately yeah like exactly. The Wailing I'm pretty sure is a five <laughs> yeah. and I gave it a heavy four but the more I think about it that one it's year five. it's fantastic Train to Busan Wailing uh, Handmaiden yeah. all one year Fuck. Fuck. Ooh, this was this is from 2010 yeah it's, yeah, it's a while ago two years ago yeah crazy it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, I'm so old I'd give it hmm that's tough so, yeah. that's tough um Probably four to five. Yeah. Pretty yeah. solid. I thought the pacing was off on it a little bit, and yeah. that was my biggest... I could see that. But could um, I did really enjoy it. I was, I was like, locked in. <laughs> That's <time>. gross. Yeah. <laughs> just the idea of, like, I really enjoyed, like, so fun. It was just <laughs> enthralling. Like, it had... It, it captured me. Yeah. Um, let's move on. We got a couple news topics. We got a couple of trailers to discuss. Mm. Let's start off with uh, a little Disney remake. Mm-hmm. Reboot, re live action remake mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the mind of Tim Burton. Mm-hmm. We got Dumbo mm-hmm. teaser. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tuberculosis. Ty, let's start with you. No. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Dumbo the Flying Elephant? I think this is a very interesting teaser. Is it a trailer? Why do you say that? It's a teaser. I guess. Okay, you do this weird thing about trailers <laughs> where you're like. Didn't show me the plot. Don't care. I don't, stupid. I don't know what it is. Uh, one would venture to say you may be the problem with <laughs> movie-going audiences. Not Some seeing might it, say that. Don't know what it's about. I like to know what I'm getting myself can into. Can you please lay it out for no, me? I hate, I hate that. Can, can <laughs> it's someone a teaser. Give me your plot? It's fucking It's supposed dumbo. to tease you out. It's a bigger I was thing. playfully teased. Who gets teased and bullied? Playfully teased? Playfully. That's, politely that's teased? literally the idea. I think. You think so? They were going Pleasantly teased? No, like playfully. A, a, a happy teasing. Yes. Um, I'm, uh, I'm in. I, I'm, I'm nervous because 
I watched Dumbo uh, like when I was a kid, and honestly, I remember it being terrifying. Like I, for some reason, I just remember it being scary. Yeah, as there's some shit. Pinocchio and Dumbo. It's been like scary. 15 years since I've seen it. I feel yeah. like but... you've <gasps> never seen Dumbo or Pinocchio. What? I just remember those being slightly traumatizing when I was a kid. Like, especially like, when they were in the circus. Like I remember that being like terrifying. Yeah. Like, it was well, like you were thirty when they came out. I yeah, guess. they're a bit after there was, my time. There's right? no call for, yeah. for you to go see it. You know? Makes sense. The kids were already you didn't like, show your college. Kids so. had no had had no interest in it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but this though, like, I'm, like that's why I'm kind of nervous about this. Like, I'm, are they going to do it the same kind of way? You know, it's going to be kind of like a almost like a. Thriller Classy version of it, yeah. I mean, it's not gonna be a thriller. <laughs> like, no, like a thriller vibe to it. Yeah. Like, like, like an under, like just especially with it being Tim Burton. Doing oh, it. be a little bit dark. Yeah, TB's gonna go. You can get dark. Stop full. calling him that. That's his name. That's... TB's going full emo freak zoid. With did you see the purple uh, bubble elephant? Yeah, I don't know what the hell that thing was. I mean. Do you remember the psychedelic scene in Dumbo? Oh, fuck, that was creepy. Is it scarier than the psychedelic elephant scene in Winnie the Pooh? Pooh. With the heffalumps. Equally terrifying. <laughs> scarier in Dumbo. Oh, God. I'm out. Especially with Tim Burton. He's going to, like, yes, my chance to sink. He's going to be, like, just handing out acid yeah, with everyone that comes Yeah, literally, in. yes. Oh. I was a freak like Let me you ruin have a new generation of childhoods. <laughs> <to> ruin. <laughs> it's been a while now. Let me fuck up some minds. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So I'm, I'm nervous. You I'm nervous. I, it's it's an enigma. I know. I I I, I kind of, I want to be in. Stand. Are you nervous? I don't understand. Because if like, it, it's Tim Burton, so I want to be in. Be but like at the same time, like it's it's Dumbo, and like I didn't have a good time with Dumbo as a kid, mm. so I'm I'm nervous. But I, like taking away from that, looking at it like objectively, um, I'm in. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's bizarre. I um, never said that I made sense. Uh, I'll jump in. I, I, honestly, like never it done. looks never said that. fine. I've just I've never Fine. been a huge Dumbo fan. Ooh. Is it because it scared the shit out of you? No. Okay. I just I just never really just was attached to it as a as a kid. Um, mm. It's just a flying elephant. It's just not cool. You you know? Tim Burton fan. Uh, uh, Earlier stuff. Some of it, yeah. Some of it not good. Okay. I'll be honest. <laughs> but then uh, I give up. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're out. It could it could be good. It's just uh, no more strings to pull out. Yeah, I just, need, I just need it laid out for me. You know, I need it. To, uh, you like Dumbo? Yeah, you like Tim Burton? A silver yeah. spoon, if possible. Yeah, spoon fed. No, um, I don't know. It's a teaser. It's hard to say, honestly. But I, like oh. I said, I've just I've just never been attached to the character of Dumbo. I mean, it's just a flying, dopey looking elephant. I'm just a big Dumbo. A big I, Dumbo. And you're just attacking the elephant now. <laughs> like, it's just not cool. You're not even talking about the movie anymore. You're just attacking the elephant. It's just, it's just not. Anyways, what do you guys think, Tim? I've not seen Dumbo. I have seen just... Dumbo Drop. Excuse me. What does that mean? The late '90s movie. The ride. Dumbo oh, Drop. Elephant that has to be like airdropped into like oh somewhere. God. I think Dennis Leary's in it. Have you done? Oh, the, have you done the Dumbo good. Drop? Uh, oof. Adam has. <laughs> uh, uh, dropped Dumbo. I think it looks interesting. I guess like visually, it looks pretty cool. There's that like yeah. above shot of like the. The circle, whatever it's called, it's like American Horror Story Circus. The yeah, circus yeah. Thing? yeah, yeah. Um, ring. Besides that, I circus guess I'm in. Ring. I like some of Tim Burton's stuff. Mm-hmm. The last decade sure. stuff has been pretty awful. <laughs> yeah, Big awful. Fish is like a five bang. I love that movie. Yeah. That gets me here. That's his last great movie, though. Yeah. Did you say? Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, so yeah, eh, eh. looks. Adam, really fifteen potential. years ago. Potentially could be good. Um, looks very cute. I felt a lot of nostalgia mm. for it when I saw it. I was like, "Ooh, it's so cute!" The elephant looks pretty good. We can say that. Yeah, the elephant looks real. The like, look pretty yeah, good. yeah. That's fucked. The eyes. I thought like I saw it's the just, eyes of the it's elephant. Not cool, you know. Okay, Scott, we get it. You don't like elephants, <sighs> all right? Were uh, they like wings? Just a little dopey and like rockets and stuff. So that'd be cool. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Is there any way to make a baby elephant cool? Yeah, that's the thing. There's no one who was saving <laughs> it. Anymore. Give it a cigar, maybe. Well, that's oh, shit man. then. Uh, Danny DeVito, Michael Keaton, Reunion, Tim yeah. Burton. I'm in off that alone. Oh, yeah, Tim Burton, too. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Batman Returns. Yeah, yeah, no. Returns. Yeah. <laughs> With Dumbo. Again. Again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Looks very cute. I think I'm in, dare I say. And I think so, he's going to go nuts you. with the psychedelic thing. Oh, yeah. The purple bubble. I could be in after a full trailer. You know? Oh, I like that. I'm definitely going to drop some acid and then see this movie. You're going to drop some Dumbo? Yeah. Dumbo, Dumbo drop? drop? That's what that means? 
Let's move on. Uh, we got The Nun, the latest film in the Conjuring slash Annabelle slash whatever uh, universe. Um, I'm going to start off. Don't care. Looks pretty bad. What do you guys think? Ditto. Have not seen any of the Conjuring movies. Dumbo. Did not Conjuring see Annabelle. one or two are decent. I've heard they're a pretty good yeah, universe yeah. setting up. Second one was, in my opinion, not as scary as the first one. But it was still decent. Jump scare movies are not scary to me. Because, well, I like, can't believe you haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. <laughs> I thought I thought you that's liked pretty them. shocking actually that you haven't seen them. I, have we reviewed them both? You've lied to me. Just kidding. We have not reviewed any of them. Yeah, we, we reviewed, reviewed the, second the second one. Did not see it then. At your cottage. Oh, Tune yeah. back to uh, whatever episode. I remember that. Yeah, I did not see it. Fuck. I saw. saw I saw World of Warcraft. Oh, yeah, that's right. Did not see Conjuring yeah. Two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh. Don't care. So you don't care. Looks garbage. Adam, what do you think? Uh, looks like shit. Don't even really love the first two Conjurings. Certainly haven't seen Annabelle. Um, I've seen Annabelle. Weird, like, jump scare at the end was weird. Didn't like it. And, uh, Classic don't like being scene. scared also. Hereditary <laughs> taught me that. I haven't slept well since I saw Hereditary. <laughs> but, uh, Hereditary is actually a good movie. And scary. So good. This might be scary and won't be good. It it did the classic jump Fuck scare out. fake out. Hmm. Oh, they, yeah, yeah. Fake yeah, you out. think something's gonna happen and then something comes that you don't expect. <laughs> but um, oh, gotcha. The nun. Came. But but it's also the thing that bothers okay. me is the sound. Like what do you mean? the nun, the person grabbing her and the trailer would have made like a sound. What happened? But in the trailer, there's like a. Like a scream, like a like yeah. noise, like a you know what I mean, like yeah. a noise that doesn't exist, like a ding, yeah, like, it's like a fake bah! sound noise, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like a whoosh, like a whoosh or something, yeah. like a yeah. like literally like a big violent <laughs> scream. Someone just like punched an organ at the same time that they attacked. It doesn't her. happen yeah. in real life, but like in real life, the <laughs> noise she would have it would have been like, yeah, like, you know yeah. what I mean. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, That's sick. Yeah, it bothers me yeah. a lot. Yeah, that's pretty gross. That's why jump yeah. scares are awful because they're pretty never gross. just like a visual thing. It's always visual plus a big. It's like, like an audio like, clash of sound. Yeah, sound like explosion. <laughs> yeah. Symbols in here. Ty, what do you think? Uh, well, I think they're relying too much on uh, on this nun character from the second movie, which really yeah. didn't have. Good point. Which no, just let me get there. Can you? No, I'm saying. Oh, you're being serious. Point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because like she's an irrelevant character. Usually, when you guys respond to something I say, I just assume you're making fun of me. So no, I just. Okay. I get all right. It. Defensive. But yeah, so it's just like kind of like the Boba Fett spinoff, I guess. You know? Like that's it's crazy that we're gonna <laughs> see. I what couldn't a, tell that time. Comparison. It's an irrelevant <laughs> side character that no one cares about. Yeah, it just Ouch. doesn't like. <laughs> let's make a whole movie about it's, them. They they showed like this character who really didn't have Boba. anything to do in the, in the in the second Conjuring. Like it was just like this. Wasn't she a painting? Yeah, I don't. Is she painting? I think then there was like maybe a nightmare that she showed up she in like or something like the that. Painting. Yeah, and we have a movie about a painting coming out. Yeah. No, oh no, this is the actual, pre-painting though. This, this is the actual is, nun. This is before she was painted. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. Oh, cool, no, man. But yeah, they're relying on this character I'm that in. was too minimal to make this movie, and so I think that's just going to be like a very small amount of that character with just a shit ton of just classic tropes from horror films. 100%. You yeah. are right. And I've never said that to you. I am the goat. Honestly, there's just nothing in this trailer. Like, there's just nothing there. It was a, there's it was nothing an there. empty trailer. Yeah. There's nothing there. Honestly, I have no idea what's happening. In it. Is this nun still alive? Is, like, is this before she was a you know demon what? nun? I don't know. I'll pay it a compliment. Oh. I think it's interesting That's that they're weird. doing, like, a shared universe. Like, I like the aesthetic of the medieval... It's interesting that this is like the Conjuring. Piece? But They're doing even, yeah, period piece. Thank you. Tony. Okay. Good They're work. trying to do the Marvel thing. Yeah. Know. Every company's trying to do the Marvel. I'm not thing. saying it's like disgusting. Like this movie will probably be it. bad, but if I It'll probably do good I, in the box. Say something office. nice about it. It will do well, box. We'll box see the nun. Yeah, nun we'll, make money. we'll review the Nun Two trailer in a year. Yeah. Uh, the Nun Two. That makes the me Nun Two. The Dumbo drop. Uh, let's move on. Uh, we got uh, the latest animated flick from Illumination Entertainment. It the do it! Universe. Come on! It's behind. Why don't we do the Illumination flick? Illumination! Like that little thing. I don't even know what that is. We got The Grinch starring oh. Benedict Cumberbatch. That's the Grinch. It's going to steal Christmas. Yep. Titular Grinch. Tim, what do you think? I'm out. Oh! 
Very quick. For a few reasons. It's fucked up. Really. I love the cartoon one. Yeah, the original. The OG one. Yeah. Jim Carrey one is okay, I guess. Oh. It's not good. I am disappointed by his voice for the Grinch. I love it. Really? Yeah. It does not sound like Benedict Cumberbatch. I... Yeah, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound like I just don't think it's like... It's not know. a Grinchy voice. It's not a Grinchy voice. It's... I like that voice, but yeah. not for the Grinch. Yeah, like, awesome. I like that. I would want to hear Benedict Cumberbatch do that voice yeah. for something else. Oh, yeah. And then my problem with, like, a lot of these Dr. Seuss movies is, like, the Dr. Seuss books are, like, very short and concise, and they have, like, a thing, and then they extrapolate this big, like, plot to go around like, it. backstory and... And he's got, like, gadgets, and there's backstories, <laughs> and I'm just like... It's illuminated. It was very simple. simple. Yeah. Gadgets? Oh, yeah. yeah. He has, like, he, gadgets he's have? flying his dog in on, like, I mean, a helicopter put, thing. He put him a drone. On a drone. He's, like, watching it. I'm like... Yeah, he's got a thing to brush himself or just walks he, through it. He like, have gadgets. That's a gadget. But that's hilarious. So I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm just gonna watch the original 25-minute <laughs> Grinch one and cry at the end when his heart breaks to the scale. I have that on Blu-ray for the demo. Tyler? Um, love the OG version. Fantastic. Love the Jim Carrey version. I don't know yeah. what you're smoking. Me too. Yeah. I'm, I'm on your side, but... Yeah. Wow, we're, we're connecting right now. I like this. Yeah. Ron it's Howard. It's fun. Fun. It's Ron, it is Ron Howard. That's right. His best movie? Hot take? It's fun. Oh, Street. definitely. Jim alone. Honestly, just Jim Like, Jim oh, Carrey's yeah. performance, I think, is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, the movie itself is like... did drive the makeup artist into therapy. <laughs> I will just hit you with that. Did he not break character the whole time? Yeah. Or do you like slowly transition into character as she was putting on the makeup? That'd be even better. Something like Something that. Something like that. Like, he, like, while he's just doing the makeup, like... That's I'm... a guy who was an Asian artist. He just won for Darkest Hour. But he retired. Oh. He didn't do anything between... <laughs> because Jim Carrey drove him literally mad. To You're joking. Mad. No. It's amazing. He said it. God, he's my idol. Okay. That's um, right. The Grinch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. <laughs> um, this, it looks too weak to me like it looks like they don't really know what they're what they're going for in this um i don't i don't know i don't get a grinch mo grinch movie vibe from this <laughs> yeah, I went yeah. what's that yeah i don't really get grinch vibe either yeah like it doesn't seem like it a seems grinch like a side like a side story to like it seems like it's like the grinch's like little brother or yeah. something like it doesn't seem like the grinch to me pip squeak yeah. yeah it's like solo a grinch story like, yeah like the, the prequel this weird like, prequel where we learn things grinch. that i don't need to know but yeah, like about Jim Carrey, so you're like, are we gonna learn how we got the name the Grinch? Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, don't say uh, that. The Grinch. Are you with anyone, or uh, are you just? You know, are you alone? <clears throat> Grinch solo. <laughs> Anyways, um, are you in? Uh, in? No, I hate. Did you say whether you were in or not? Oh, I'm out. No, this looks oh. bad. Yeah, I, 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 if they had done like a shot for shot remake of like the original one. Like, with Benedict Cumberbatch, I think I might have liked that more. Well, that's redundant. Scott, it's the Grinch. It's redundant. It's the third okay. Grinch. Movie. We've seen Got him. Adam, what are, you, what, what are your thoughts here? Um, Looks bad. I was hyped when I... I was like, Benedict Cumberbatch, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, voice is fucking terrible. Don't get it. Why are you doing this voice? You just do your normal voice. That's like... Or do you do sound like... You guys are laughing in the trailer. I don't understand. Like, the goat the scene? The goat laugh. Come Apparently, on. I like goat screaming. The goat You do. <laughs> Yeah. When the goat screened in the little the Christmas foot trailer today in front okay. of Incredibles Two, foot, I like maybe? yeah, small foot. I like died because <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah. What was that one yeah. with like the the goat trying to scream when he's trying to talk like a human? Uh, yeah, where it's like the Christmas yeah. Christmas story trailer. That's a donkey. Oh, it's a donkey. Yeah, but same idea. Same, same effect. It's an animal. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, I also laugh but at like, like people getting yeah. kicked in the nuts. Doesn't mean I think it's <laughs> well made or like art, <laughs> but 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 funnies. It but, could be funny in like a visceral way where I'm just like, but ah, for I'm the screaming. lulls, Adam though, could be could be a lull or two. But I just hate the voice. I'm like, why are you doing yeah, this? See, voice? that's the thing. I don't, I don't hate the voice. Just you don't on the Grinch. Like it doesn't work. I think I hate it just on overall. the Grinch and on anyone else. Oh, I, oh, I kind of like the voice. And I hate illumination. I'm yeah. yeah I'm I, done with illumination. Yeah. Worst Ironic. animation. Yeah, because we're doing probably. a Pixar movie this week in our review, and we're. Also talking about Illumination, who's the anti shit Pixar? Yeah, IMO. They make a lot of money. They do, the don't they? Office. They do. The, well, a cheat code. Kid animated movies are a cheat code. They make so much money. Yeah. Um, not always. What was that movie? What was that movie <laughs> that came out during Christmas this past year? The Stork like, one. No, no, there's another one. That I was can't like, even think of it. It was there like a polar go. bear or something. Ooh, yeah. North? Yeah, North of the North. Woo! 
Ooh. Norm of the North. Okay, that one. Dog I, shit. Not, not always a cheat code. Whatever company made that is the worst <laughs> animation company. Yes. It, was that not Illumination? No, it was no. some other, like, no, it was All right, Nickelodeon fuck or something, I think. <laughs> yeah. Nickelodeon Jr. or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, it doesn't yeah. look great, but I don't hate Benedict Cumberbatch's voice. I yeah. Mean, really? Like, I think it's fine. I just, I just think wow. it's just different than what we're used to. Yeah. Like, who knows what the Grinch sounded like. It's fucking... When he was a real man, well, we, we can go back and listen. We just ask him. Yeah, but it's just we're just used to those two versions, right? Yeah. Exactly. So we're imprinting on that, and it's not that, so it, therefore it's bad. Yeah. But I think it could, agree. Be, it could be just fine. No, I like, know. I don't have a problem with his voice. I, I just have a problem with the trailer itself. It's just not... Sure, the goat's funny. When the goat screams, the goat is funny, very funny, right? <laughs> but the whole time, I'm just like, what? Is this a montage? Is this even trailer? Is this like, is That's, this a, yeah. It felt weird. It was just a montage of scenes. Like, there was a lot there. Like, almost too much. Yeah. yeah definitely like, too much. It could have been more of an actual trailer, like, where there's, like, a, a beating, a middle end. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But that's just, like, a series of, like, scenes yeah. just, just cut together. It makes it seem like it's going to be just a mess. <laughs> Yeah, it's hectic. It, yeah, it's hectic. Thinking, it's going to be like a series of scenes up until they meet the point where he decides to like ruin Christmas and then it's going to be like the Grinch is still Christmas movie. Yeah. Like, is this a straight up remake of the first one? Like, it's the same story but like expanded on? Like, I don't yeah, understand yeah, the, like I don't it. understand the timelines here. Like, is this a Oof. prequel? Like, what is this? Don't get me started on timelines. Anyways. I'm not in, but I'm not as like, I don't know, I'm not as bothered by the voice. Anymore. Well, that'll do it for this episode, episode 148 of the Up Real Late podcast. Tim, where can people find us? Uh, people can find us on Twitter at Up Real Late. You can find me personally on Letterboxd oh at Up Real Tim and on Instagram at The oh Craft Pundit. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Up Real Late Podcast. You can also find me on Letterboxd at uh, Up Real Tie. There you go. Well, you can find me on Twitter at Franey25 and Instagram and Letterboxd at Up Real Adam. You can find myself, Scott, on Letterboxd at Up Real Scott. And yeah, guys, if you enjoy this video, Leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, keep it real. Letterboxd.